A father reconnects with a past love, somebody he hasn't seen in 30 years, causing him to recollect the kindest memories, forcing a confrontation as to why their love didn't work. A young boy's curiosity for photography grows as he takes seemingly innocuous shots of the backs of people's heads, an attempt to capture the side of truth which he is unable to comprehend. A grandmother slips into a coma, her family talking to her, a growing worry that she may never wake up. A newlywed couple grows distant as they confront their difficulties with intense arguments, affairs and suicide attempts. This is Edward Yang's fascinating Yi Yi, also known as a one and a two, an expansive multi-strand narrative exploration of beginnings and endings, a one and a two, a signifier that music is to begin and that silence is to end. Edward Yang's ability for observance is phenomenal, no narrative strand remains unfinished or ignored, as during Yi Yi's near three hour running time, each character within its wide cast is given given the space to breathe, expressing distinctive personalities, anxieties, worries, joys and heartbreaks. The cinematography of Yi Yi is luscious. Edward Yang's camera reflects his own skills of observance, the camera placing characters, objects and actions within the most eye-pleasing and dazzling positions, frames within frames, natural asymmetry, reflections through glass windows. Many of Yi Yi's shots have a naturally beautiful, painterly quality to them. These shots would not seem out of place with within real world social situations, feeling like the camera captures these chance encounters and moments from the most engaging angles. The cinematography is not distracting, but effectively creates a sense of spontaneity, as if the camera only needed to document the most human of positions. Every shot is filled with a wealth of meaning, capturing the painful discussions, the uncomfortable long or awkward silences, the juvenile glee of playful pranks, and the revelation of troubling truths. As the camera lingers, observing at a distance as not to distract the subjects it films. Each shot resonates on a deeply emotional level. Every character narrative within Yi Yi is filled with complex human emotion and quietly compelling experiences that reflects universal emotional experiences of the audience as well as contrasting with different characters. For example, during a business trip to Japan, a father and his past love from 30 years ago walking through a park catching up with each other. During a night stroll through the city, the father reminisces over his own social awkwardness and anxiety while he was dating his ex. This is contrasted with the image where a young man is shown awkwardly holding a young woman's hand. Apparent, he is sharing the same experience which the man in Japan is reflecting on. Edward Yang's attention to detail is superb, contrasting narratives between characters while never losing sight of their conclusions. Everyone within Yi Yi has their own structural payoff, everything needing to come to an end. Beginnings and endings are woven throughout Yi Yi. A teenage breakup leads to the beginning of a relationship for another. The death of a grandmother motivates a young boy to speak openly about how he wants to teach people things they don't know and show people things they haven't seen, beginning a new profound path in life from a very young age. A seemingly doomed marriage tinged with depression and brutal arguments encourages the beginning of a new leaf, as both partners vouch to do better for each other, with beginnings and endings as the central theme of Edward Yang's Yi Yi and arguably the central theme to cinema itself, as each narrative requires a beginning, a middle and an end, although not necessarily in that order. Yi Yi is a film which seems to capture the meaning of cinema and the meaning of life, presenting a philosophical profundity, the ups and downs, the circle of life which is essential to embracing existence. In conclusion, Edward Yang's Yi Yi, within its running time, documents, chronicles and embraces the solemn, the chaotic, the stoic, the joyous realities that will fill the lives of everybody within existence. Its experiences are distinctive to the characters living them, and yet Yi Yi is also reflective of our own personally lived existences. The birthdays, the funerals, the excitements and darkness, it is a sumptuously moving film which focuses on the most human of realities. Everything must have a beginning, and everything must have an end. Thank you.